this video I'm going to work out one example of logarithmic differentiation. It is going to involve um, taking the derivative of the natural log function. So over here I've got d dx of the natural log of u is going to be equal to u prime over u. So there's my derivative. Alright, keeping in mind u is a function of x. Alright, so we do this. I do this. I use these use formulas um, so that we can clearly see where that uh, chain rule is taking place. All right, so uh, for logarithmic differentiation, there is a set of steps that are going to be very, very helpful. Um, so I've got y equals sine x raised to the x, okay? So if this is simplified, you know, pretty much as much as you can, then you're just going to start by taking the log of both sides, taking the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to have natural log of y is equal to the natural log of the sine of x raised to the x power. Okay, now I'm going to apply some log rules here, and I'm going to bring that x down in front. So then I'm going to have the natural log of y is equal to x times the natural log of sine x. Alright, now when I get to this point, I've done all the simplifying that I can, and I'm now ready to take the derivative of both sides of the equation. On the left hand side, this is just going to be straightforward. Um, and then on the right hand side, hopefully you're seeing that there is going to be a product rule right there. Okay, so natural log of y using my formula over here, this is going to give me a y prime over y is equal to, now I'm going to do product rule, so I'm going to have x. Um, I'm actually going to use the dd, uh, ddx notation in here as opposed to doing the derivative as we go here. So times the derivative d dx of natural log of sine x plus the natural log of sine x times the derivative d dx of x. All right. Again, for the beginning calc student, uh, that's going to help just line out the fact that you are doing that product rule. All right. So I'm going to leave my y prime over y alone. I'm going to have an x here taking the derivative right here. All right. U prime over u. So the derivative of sine is going to be cosine all over the u, which is sine. Then I'll have the natural log sine x right there. Taking the derivative of x will just be 1, so I'm going to leave it there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this out. All right, we ought to, we ought to be really good at this point with your trig identity, so this is going to be a cotangent right there. So I'll have a y prime over y is equal to x times cotangent of x plus natural log sine x. All right, I need to solve for y prime, which means I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by that y. So then I'm going to have a y prime is equal to x cotangent x plus natural log sine x. All right, and let's show that multiplication like that. All right, and then the very last step would be to take your y and replace it with what y equals up here at our beginning equation. y was equal to the sine x raised to the x, so I'm going to do that replacement right there. So I'll have a final answer of y prime is equal to x cotangent x plus natural log sine x, and then substituting in sine x raised to the x power. All right, so there you have pretty, pretty straightforward logarithmic differentiation on this example. All right, um, but certain set of steps. Take the log of both sides. Implement some log rules to see if you can't simplify that expression. Take the derivative of both sides of the equation. All right, and then ultimately solve for y prime and then replace y with whatever it equals. Those are your general overall steps for logarithmic differentiation. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.